Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Aquarium and to Heartcliff. Heartcliff is a research facility and it presents the biggest challenge you've met so far, but it's also a golden opportunity to create a really special aquarium. Your access to livestock is severely reduced here in Heartcliff and you'll have to obtain most of your stock from merchants via the message log. Merchants offer a set of animals for a fixed price, but it's a one-time thing, so animals from merchants are difficult to replace. Be careful not to let any die. The good news is you'll have inherited a significant amount of equipment with the facility and there's a well-designed maintenance room that supplies all the tanks via pumps. You need to redesign your aquarium layout to help guests find all the tanks. And if you can continue to house all your equipment in the central maintenance room, you could significantly reduce your staff requirements. You have your objectives. Good luck. Okay. Mm -hmm probably one way to help them a little bit to start with. I'm not going to do too much to start with. I'm going to get rid of that wall so they can saunter between these three tanks. I'll leave that there though. Do I want to wall this off or do I want them to be allowed to come around here? I think I maybe want to put a wall here. We'll see how that works. Um, and I kind of think I need a bit of a better protein skimmer for these fish in here. They look like they're not doing very well right now. So this will just be the basics I'll do just before I open. And then we'll see what else I can do with the place. So that's got them all nicely filtered. I mean, they've got, yeah, a big filter and a big protein skimmer. That's probably the best setup. Chillers, heaters, yeah. Looks fine. So these guys need some rocks as well. Oh, we've got loads of stuff that we can put in the aquarium. It's good grief. Live rocks. They give filtration. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So that's maybe what I could have done. I could have put these live rocks in. That's maybe why it gave me less filtration power. I'm not sure. But it's, always, it's better to have more filtration rather than less filtration. Okay, that will do. They look happy. And we need some plants in there. Wow, we actually need quite a lot of um, rocks and plants in here. I didn't actually realise. I may have to change some of the stuff. They need 12 worth of plants. Oh, the tumbleweed gives you plants and rocks at the same time. Oh, we could actually... How many plants does it give? The one... You can fit two in. It would only give me like six worth of plants. Look again, is there anything else? It's all my paints and my decorations there. That's the first time we've had something that's like plants and rocks. If I could fit three of those in, that would do. I think I can, yeah. Okay. That that'll do for now. They're at least happy. They've got enough food. And then I can start putting some some cool stuff in here as well if I want. What kind of cold water fish do I have? I now have a green moray eel, which is massive. Um cold water, we've got cuckoo wrasse and ballon ras. Starfish and moon jelly. The moon jelly will probably need to go in its own special yeah, Queasel tank. So I could put a little Queasel tank in around here as well. That would be quite cute. It could share with the... Uh... That might be quite nice, actually. It would be a reason for people to come around here as well. It would sort of filter them around. I could put some more hot water tanks in the wall back there as well. I don't find that I need tons and tons of tanks to get, think to get high prestige. So like, I sometimes think it's better to try and... Just cool it with the amount of tanks I have. We'll see how big it needs to be, but I'm going to try and like be quite a, a tight build this time, which I didn't do last time. We've got the anemones, which are a anemone. Um, the balamass will eat crustaceans, and the cuckoo rat will also eat crustaceans. They eat cockles. They'll grow, but they, other than that, they seem quite happy to be around each other. So yeah, I think I think we'll maybe just pop a few of those into this uh, cold water tank and see how they do. 
I'll grow to 14. I'll put one in. This is up to 200, so... Maybe like three of those guys. Maybe three of the cuckoo ones. And then we'll see how they grow. Once they're maybe fully grown, I might pop another couple of things in there. We'll see. We need 21 hidey hole points. So let's see what we've got for that. We get 12 hidey hole points for a pitted column. So that, if I can get one of those in there, that'd be ideal. Oh, two of those is plenty. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to open up. They all seem happy enough. Let's hire some staff as well. A little bit of fixing. Someone that's really good at feeding. Hmm. No one's that good at feeding, apparently. Okay, so pick my next... Well, I, I'm, I can definitely... Turbot eats starfish. I would need a whole new tank for those guys. They grow to 19. Give me six prestige. A Bartlett and Thias. They dislike food competitors. They cannot be housed with other species that eat krill. They are a shoaler. Alright, and we'll maybe have you then. I shouldn't need more than two staff. Well, three staff to start with that I seem to have already. A nitrate reactor. Ooh. Helps achieve a higher water quality. A coffee machine, which would be nice for my guests. A balloon shelf, which would be nice for my guests. A tunnel tank, which would be nice for my guests. And a large double filter, which would be really quite useful. I think getting the mega heater and the large double filter, because they'll allow me to... Um, to hit up like larger tanks for less pumps basically these guys look a bit sad this tank looks really nice but this tank looks a bit sad so i think i need to i need to basically get the stuff i've got already like really nice so uh, let me see about getting maybe some kelp or something in here just to just pretty it up a bit really Maybe a few decorations. Ooh, we've got a compass in there. That looks very nautical. Uh, okay, maybe I like I like my ancient gate as well. That's always pretty nice to put in a tank. That's quite a pretty tank now, especially if you look at it from the the sort of low level. Okay, these guys definitely need some help. Now let me just see who they are, what they are, what do they do. Striped boxfish. So, we, really the, it can have a much, much larger capacity, this tank. They don't really grow. They'll eat corals and starfish. Well, I'm not going to really put those in with them anyway. They're armoured, so you can put them in with much bigger things. Okay, that's fine. So they're a tropical tank. What can we put them in with then? What have we got? We've got Yellow Tang, Azure Damoiselle and King Damoiselle. And at the moment we've only really got the... Okay, well I'll put some Azure Damoiselles in with them I think and King Damoiselles. They're wimpy fish but I don't think these guys are bullies. So they should be able to share. We'll just fill up the tank with them, I think. Keep an eye out for anything they need. They don't really need much. Yeah, I'll change the kings for a bit. Well, I get one more 
casual rain? Yes, I will. So that's quite a nice little tank there. So they need a little bit more filtration all the way around, honestly. Uh, and that is fine. I can either put those rocks in, those live rocks. Which I was considering. Possibly another protein skimmer then. Maybe two. Oh no, another small filter would probably be the way to go. Good now? Yeah, we're good now. Give them some plants maybe as well. Just something to make them feel a bit nicer. sea grass for them to like hide in and stuff I think that'd be cool right so my guests are wanting a few things so I'll uh, see what I can give for them get hungry and stuff so I think a fizzy drink machine around here would probably be a good place for it and maybe a chocolate machine as well if we've got one which we do bin next to it and I've got some benches over there, so that's fine. I might just move the benches slightly. To be a bit more in line with this sort of little area here. And I might even put another bin in because it's a bit of an odd configuration there. Yeah, I probably need a toilet somewhere as well. I could easily fit one in by the entrance there, actually. zone that off a little bit I don't know it's not it's not the greatest of areas I could, should probably put a bench or something in there honestly but a toilet will do for now I'll probably move it to the other side or something okay so let's have a look at visibility are they getting around all the tanks yes they are so that's a really good start I've got 19 guests that's fine so prestige being higher would be really good at the moment, we're fine, so I'm quite happy with this. And they do seem to be being drawn over here okay, so that's brilliant as well. Right. So I think one of my next things to do would probably be to um, expand this pump room so that I can get more stuff attached to it. Because we're going to want some more tanks. So I think what I need to do is expand this room. So we can put more stuff in it, like I said. And then also expand, like, back here as well. I'm going to see where the wall will end up. Oh yeah, we just need to do that as well. So people come in, they go around here, but they mostly go in a kind of straight line I, mean, I could do something with tunnel tanks later maybe but we'll just we'll just see how it goes so what I'm thinking is maybe some wall tanks and stuff along here not really sure actually at the moment but I'm just going to keep it segregated just so that I can think about it a bit more because the more they wander around the less they're looking at the tanks I've got I've got decent prestige just from them looking at these three tanks I've done quite a good job with them I feel so I want to do a good job with whatever, whatever else I put in so maybe like a corner tank here followed by some wall tanks and then probably put some like lagoon tanks and things across the way have a just carry on with a wall basically I think that would be the way to do it so let's have me a, and I think I want the deeper tanks as well I want them deep and small I 
You know what I'm like with my wall tanks. I like them to be deep and small. So that corner tank will go there. And then see, I'm going to build the whole thing in sections, basically. I'll do another section out here after that, maybe, and then round. I hope I'm making this big enough. And probably not, actually. I think this room needs to get bigger as well. Okay, so let me do a large wall tank. I'll just go in the middle there. So these are all quite big tanks, but I'm getting some big filters and things now, so I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so what other little fishes can we trade for now? We've got schooling banner fish, we've got humpback snappers, but I'm not going to buy them. Wimps. Oh. All my cuckoo rasses have grown and my starfish and stuff. So my cold water tank will be letting me know soon how how big everything's going to get. Okay, so wimps are an underrepresented minority. Build a tank with three, three different wimps. Sufficient water quality and sufficient heating. I'll see what I can do. I'll keep... I'll keep it on the side there, but I don't know. I don't know how many wimps I actually have. Okay, so what am I going to want here? I'm going to want some um, some walls, I guess. And what I'll probably do is have places for them to sit and eat and stuff along this wall, so that I've got this central room still serving most of the tanks. I'm gonna move the grooms and stuff as well. There's no need to have those right there. It might be nice to have a little bit more space in here actually. So maybe if I made it kind of equal to that then I could always move the tank the pumps and things around to try and give myself a bit more space for things and also if I wanted to go around this corner then I could build a whole load of pumps along this wall which would be good I think always I'm always gonna have a plan for expansion but I might not always need to expand as much as I plan so that's the that's the way I guess Okay, I'm going to try and put something replaceable in here, though. Green moray eel. Eats herring every two days. Cave lover. May damage fish with size 3 or less. Will grow to 28. So they might want to be in this, like, bigger tank. Will grow to size 28. Yeah, okay. So I'm actually going to pause it again. Put the eels in, and then I'm just going to, like, try and work on their requirements. Oh wow, the eels grew to how much? 28. Did I put the wrong type of, I've got this horrible feeling I put the wrong type of tank in, but I don't think I have. They, oh, they, they are the shallow ones. Why do I do this every blinking time? I want the deep wall tank. The deep corner tank, which is not going to fit there now. Oh. Shilab! Deep corner tank. Oh, actually, no, that will fit. Yeah, we could just have it like that. That would be fine. So we're going to need some like ramps and things behind them um, and to do that I'm just going to take away the wall just here. So that will do for that one. And probably the best place to do this one will be down the side there, which is pretty much unused space, so that makes more, the most sense. 
and then they're gonna both need a pump of some description to feed these two tanks so I'd like to have either you know the cold water and the hot I'll have to have two tanks of hot water and two tanks of cold water etc etc I'm wondering whether I could get a Kriegel tank like off this pump set maybe I could if I put it just like here just here, move the, the vending machines and stuff over. I just have a little wheel tank for there. Might be good. Do I do I have wheel tanks yet? Weasel tanks, not wheel tanks. What am I on about? So yeah, I could easily put a weasel tank kind of here. Move these around. That would fit really nicely, actually. Yeah, it's almost like it was made for it. And then what I would probably do there is just um, build some walls. I would get rid of... In fact, I almost kind of need to get rid of the whole of this bit around the... Yeah, it's a waste of space. That is a waste of space. So let's build walls instead. Walls are better. And I'm gonna leave that person. I'm gonna leave that person trapped in there for the whole episode, just for you guys that complained about it last time. Because I'm mean like that. Not really. I'm gonna move them. There we are. Okay. So now we need like a little platform going up to feed them. Which, ooh, that will do. I want to add tank, add the Kriegel tank, Kriegel tank, not Kriegel tank, oh my goodness me. And then we don't have quite enough chilling going on, so what I would like to try and do is to sell this small chiller and replace it with a large chiller. Which will go there nicely. Yes, looking good, looking good. So what do they need to eat? What do you need to eat, jellyfish things? Again, I'm just trying to build it really tight to start with because I started off with a, a not very tight uh, layout last time and it just, just messed me up, honestly. So I just learned to squish everything in. It's not always the prettiest, but it's fine. So they'll grow to six. How big is the tank? 24. So... Four of them. Mm. Come on. How much do they grow to? Oh, they grow to six. They started two. That's fine. So that is very cool. At the moment, they don't have enough filtration though, but that's not that's not a problem. I can sell their protein skimmer and change it for a bigger one. It's nice that we're getting this extra space for the wall there as well, because that's helping with all of this. See, oh, so apparently people don't mind if there's like um, steps just right by these big tanks. Okay, that's another thing to not be uh, to to take into consideration, I suppose. I would ideally like the nitrogen tank thingy. But that's still being researched, I think. Oh, it's not even being researched, but it's something I think I might need. I'll put another protein skimmer in for now and see if that will just do what I need it to do. As they grow, they might need a bit more. So they're going to need Artemia, apparently. Okay. Artemia dispenser in here. Stick it there for now. Three different kinds of wimps. I mean, this tank's full, so I'm gonna have to do a different tank, I think, to, to do the wimp challenge. Okay, I need to decide what I want to put in these tanks, and I need to do it while paused so I can get a good setup for them. 
wanted the moray eels, didn't I? So they are warm water. Mm, we've got all those warm water stuff. So what I'm thinking at the moment with my little brain is um, that I might try and pop in one of the things. So 64. What do they grow to? 28. So 28 plus 28 is like 56. I can fit like two in there. <laughs> I mean, I might be fine with two of them. I'll maybe put something else in with them later when they grow up a bit. They don't really seem to need too much. Just a little cave. Just a little cave. Okay, 14. Two rocky overhangs would do that. There you go. What a lovely place for you to live. And you need four rocks as well. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll give you four in rock. Some rubble. I don't know if I can fit rubble, actually. Live rocks actually gives them two rock. So, stick those in. Oh, they don't have a rock requirement. I thought they did. Okay, whatever. They're decorative. It's fine. Um, so they're going to need a bit of filtration. They're going to need to be fed herring as well. So, let's get their food sorted and then I'll put the big pump in. That's their food. Uh, what are we going to want in here then? So let's have a look at our mail and see what sort of things we've got. Blue and yellow grouper for sale. It's just one, okay. It may eat fish with five, size four or less or crustaceans with size four or less and it will grow to like double the size. So something armoured would be good alongside it I would say. Um, it doesn't like to be housed with other yellow and blue groupers. It uh, grows for a while. Could just put it in on its own, honestly. Yeah, it's a deal. You're going in there for now. So you just want a cave as well. That's all you want. So I'm going to see if I can just put one of these uh, fitted columns in. Might be able to fit that in for you. There you go. What a lovely, lovely house you've got. And it needs to eat sand eels. So sand eel for you. I love that you can pause it though. Like in, That's why I'm struggling in Parkosaurus because I can't pause. It's like, no, I can't do anything with this. Right, so we're going to need some heat and some filtration. Stick me a pump in, and then hopefully people will come down this way. You never know, though. Add this tank as well. And then let's see what we can do. So I'm going to... Eventually I'm going to have this nice double pump, which is going to be really, really useful. But for now... I'm going to put a large filter on. actually seems to have completely done everything they need in the way of filtration which is awesome and maybe until they grow though maybe once they grow they'll be a bit more difficult to filter um we need a large heater probably and we'll probably need to no they seem they seem happy enough now that's amazing so i'm just gonna take away this bit of wall in a bit of wall here. No one seems to be... Yeah, that seems to be fine. Okay, and let's uh, see how that works. Visibility is a bit terrible at the moment, but we'll just give people a chance. Sometimes it does just take a little while for them to, to get round everywhere.
What I might even do is send them around here first and then they have to go all the way up there. Maybe put some snacks and seating up here or something. I don't know. Something that will attract them. Right, one thing that I haven't really done yet, uh, I don't know if I can, is a guidebook shelf. Put that down there, I think. And then I need the supplies for it. Just pop to the side of the door there. We've 100% on these, 17 and 22 on that. That one's raising all the time, which is amazing. I may eventually need to build a second room, but at the moment I'm doing okay. It's just a case of, like, they're not really being pulled around here by anything particular. I don't know if I need some kind of massive display up here them. I'm actually considering moving these feeders to the edge wall. I think they look a little bit neater over there. Okay, more people are coming around here now. That's good. Maybe if I put the toilet up here, then they come. Uh, I've got plenty of room to put toilets and things. Let's face it. Let's make a little nook there for a toilet to go in. I like to recess them. Like, why are you even going there? That's so stupid. There's nothing there. It's going to be a toilet in a minute. So we've got a toilet there, which is serving everybody around that area. I wish I could see the range of it when I click on it, rather than just when I'm putting it down. I think we could do with a toilet maybe over this side as well. So again, I'm just going to make a little recess there. Pop the toilet in. very nice 75 and 62 percent of people are coming up to this one so that's not so bad I like this guy Let's see on my prestige what they're thinking they're really liking a lot of stuff that's cool tank 8 looks a bit bare which one's tank 8 you and seven and six. Ah, that's the Queasel tank. Can I put anything in there then? I didn't realise I could decorate it. Oh yeah, I can give them some rocks or something. I can maybe give them some rocks at the front and then give them a bit of like I don't know, a sea lettuce at the back or something. Yeah. Be bits in your tank now. Not all the guests are really getting up here, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to change things about a bit. I'm going to first. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a little recess there. Again for my toilet. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change this up. I'm going to put a wall here. And I'm going to demolish the wall over here and see if that helps them in getting around a bit more. In fact, I might even just be like, you know what? Wall over here too. So we're having to go around here, around here and up here. What I'm hoping is that that means people, more people will make it that far. I'll use some arrows as well, see if I can get them to follow it. Let's 
see if we can get them to go the right way. We're getting loads of science points and stuff. This prestige seems to be just hovering around that 450 mark at the moment. But that's not a problem. Okay, they seem to be a little bit like hungry and thirsty over here. So let's see if we can give them some more facilities. I don't have much to give them right now, but I'll certainly give them a chocolate machine and a couple of benches or something. A padded benches and a bin, maybe? So yeah, I think people might be a bit happier with that. I seem to have lowered the... Uh, as soon as I did that, everyone went to get a drink and... No one's coming over here anymore. Man. Clearly need some more tanks for everybody to, to see that this is the main part of the aquarium. I mean, I honestly think that we probably need like a long corridor with a room to either side, I think. I think we could get away with two rooms quite easily, but I think trying to get it to do one is a bit of an ask. Because 100% of people are getting to this tank. But they're not getting as far as this tank. So why is that? I'm getting distracted by the, the machines? Maybe. Maybe if I put more tanks along here, then uh, you know people would be like, "Oh, it's really interesting. I want to get to those tanks. That's going to be really cool." I'm not 100% certain that's how it's going to work, but it's how it's going to work in my head. I'm a bit low on money as well. I'm wondering if I need to just fast forward it just for a tiny bit, just to make a bit more money. Oh no, 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 no. Prestige is going through the floor. More people are getting up here though. That's good. Right? Let's see, I still feel like I wish I could have tanks on both sides, but yeah, yeah. Just by opening that bit up over there seems to attract them. That's weird. That's very odd. But yeah, I honestly think that trying to stick to this whole, like everything in one place thing is actually kind of scuffering me a bit. I may just I'm gonna hire one more person. Um, oh, I don't have enough toolkit. Right, okay. I'm, I'm going to put in some more tool stations just so they've got enough to work with. Two more there. Way everything can get repaired because a lot seems to be breaking right now. Um, why don't you be better at feeding? We don't have anyone that's really good at feeding, and when I get things like sharks, I'm going to need someone that's good at feeding. That pump still has a lot of capacity as well. I kind of wish I had ones that could attach to more than one, more than one aquarium as well. That'd be really good. quite small tanks. Maybe I should put some bigger tanks in. Okay, that wall away completely actually. Why not? Okay. So now I want a nice... Oh! Why do we not have enough filtration suddenly? Have they grown? Did they grow up? Did you grow up into beautiful fish? Would you like a protein skimmer? Yeah, 
they all just grew up. Which I had a feeling would happen. So the blue and yellow grouper should be doing quite well on its own. Humpback snappers for sale, schooling bannerfish for sale. All sorts of cool things, but I don't really want to buy them too quickly. I want to just like build up quite slowly. Okay. 437, that's not too bad. So how are we doing as far as our... Uh, we need 2,000 prestige. Oh, but the whole level is to get 2,000 prestige. Oh, okay. That's not so bad then. Not everybody's getting round here, though. Like, I'm seriously getting a bit fed up with this whole, like, room in the middle idea. It's, it's fantastic to start with, but as I'm starting to get a bigger aquarium, it's starting to get a bit annoying. So I may move everything around a lot, but I'll do that next episode because that's the end of this episode. So we've done okay. We've gotten to like nearly 500 prestige. We are very close to uh, like researching a new fish to researching this double filter and everything like that. So we're doing okay. Just need to do a little bit more um, building tanks and getting things in the right place. And I really don't feel that things are kind of in the right place at the moment. They're not how I like them. I don't like the way that it was originally set up either. I feel like I, I'm really restricted in where I'm actually being able to build things because it's given me this stupid setup to start with. I really don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to have two rooms but I will only have two. One down each side. And then I will have a long corridor of tanks where people cannot possibly get confused about where they're going. And that is what we're going to aim for next episode. It might mean a bit of wasted space down this side. I might just move everything around. Uh, I'll probably spend just a bit, about 10, 15 minutes at the beginning of next episode, moving everything around, getting the, the things like this tank into the middle, making it all look pretty. Maybe I won't even have it in the middle. Maybe I'll have it quite a long, thin corridor so that I can have lots of things behind. And then sometimes I will have dips and I'll have like a, an area where it's like a whole big tank or something. I might have it down the end. I'm not sure yet, but I will work on it next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Mega Aquarium, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.